Hi YouTube, this is Poop, and what we're going to make today is a lead helmet out of construction helmets. You can pick them up at hardware stores, flea markets, real simple process. You go to a sheet metal store to buy the lead, you get a sheet about 3 foot by 3 foot, and you can make about 19 helmets out of them. First thing you do is you get your helmet. Second thing is you take your insert out of your helmet which is this, which goes in these little grooves here, and you take your lead, you cut about five, five, five inches across, five inches, and you stick, five by eight, say five by eight, then you stick it over the helmet and you bang it down till it looks like this, and you put it in here. You set it in your helmet, but first you're supposed to put your gloves on because you're dealing with real lead, and I'm messing up already a little bit. So you put your gloves on, so you don't get lead on your hands. Back up a little bit, Neil. And um, what you do is you take your shears and your knife and you cut your pieces out, which the metal bends real soft. It's really soft. So you can make your own little pieces and you can trim. And any little any little um, leftover you have, you take you take it in here and you lay it around your your helmet like this, all the way around. So you can cover your the top of your head, but you don't want to cover you don't want to cover where your insert goes in back in. And you use your duct tape to get your little pieces out. But you need to take one glove off, do it, so you can hold your pieces in, in place while you're before you really get loose and duct tape the whole thing. Take this like this. Don't worry about the one that's in the bottom because that'll be held in by everything else. You put your piece in here, and then you duct tape it like that, so it's, it still holds it. it. Doesn't have to be neat; it just has to work. So you hold it. Remember what I said: don't cover where your insert goes on, because that's how your helmet stays on your head. And what I do is, I put lead like this on the back of the little lip here. Just like that. So this, when I put the insert, I'm going to put it backwards so this lays on the back of your neck. So it, co it covers your neck, too. Now, I already made these helmets before, but I wanted to get it out here so you can make your own helmets. Just in case this thing does mess with our, our head, the magnetism from Planet X or Nebiru or one of Nebiru's moons. I don't know what the hell's coming, supposedly August 17th. 2012 so let's just be a little bit ready so we don't run around like uh, literally out of our minds so this, uh, this all this is all under uh, this is all under about hundred and twenty dollars but you can build like I said you can build about 20 helmets off a sheet that's three foot by three foot and you got to go to a sheet metal store because they all have this stuff in the back for some weird reason all sheet metal stores have lead in them sheets of it. I don't know what they use it for, but they have it there. Alright. As you can see what I was doing, Neil, can you zoom in? Now, I would duct tape all this up. Then, after I'm done duct taping, I would put this insert back into the helmet, and then it would look like this. This is the finished product of a lead helmet. It's not yeah. going to fall on you. It's not going to do anything. And then, like I said, I put this to the back. Now, I'll show you how you put it on. You know, This is to the back of you. This is what I said covers your neck. And you just put it on like a regular construction helmet. You tighten it up. And there's your lead helmet. Concealed. And hopefully you can keep your common sense. And these are the tools I used. A little mallet hammer to bang the metal down when I had it inside the hel this helmet. Duct tape. Shears. A knife, and there goes your poop lead helmet. 